Hello, it's Tim again. Uh, got something new on the bench here today. Just actually got it. Ordered it through Amazon. Uh, I guess everybody's favorite place to shop. Uh, it's the DERE. -E. It's a uh, capacitance inductance tester. And it's, it's made in Japan. So I just got it. I was kind of watching them on uh, Amazon and the, the price was going up and down and up and down and up and down and then they weren't available for a while and then all of a sudden they were available at somewhat of a reasonable price so uh, with the free shipping and everything and then two day delivery I got it so uh, a lot of the markings on here I'll zoom into them they're I'd assume it's Japanese and I really have no idea what they say or mean but you can always open it up and find out I have the uh, the wild dog and the cat down here with me as well so I'll probably end up getting interrupted a few times but this is how it came it was uh, everything kind of looks like it was when you bought the, the the kit with everything with it it looks like they went out and and bought a bunch or we I mean got a, a bunch of different stuff and uh, put it in the bag so whoop, try to zoom out a little bit there so you can see how it came and get the bag out of our way uh, of course, here's the meter. Here's one set of probes. And I imagine this is the other set. Uh, we'll find out. And then a battery. So, without further delay, what I'm going to do is we'll start opening stuff and see what we get here. So, the meter had a lot of good reviews. And uh, if you ever get a chance to watch uh, Peter on TRX Bench, I've seen him kind of use one of these and he did he did some work with one and uh, I figure if he's using it and it has pretty good reviews it must be pretty good but so here's the meter and let's see pop that open oh it's got a uh, adapter I'd imagine one of these must be the adapter then for so you don't need a battery so let's open up these First one to open up is, this looks like, yeah, this is the uh, the short lead tester, and it's got the short leads right here, and then you can, you can plug it in, and then it has a, uh, a slot for an external guard for a separate shield or grinding if you want. So that's what's in that box. Let's look what's in this box. Uh, all right. Oh, this is a. Uh, that's the external shield, if you want, or guard. I imagine that's what that is. So yeah, it's a tight fit though, but it does fit. Pull that back out of the way. Let's see. And then. Here, here would be the longer leads, the test. It's kind of under the impression that it might have came with the uh, power supply or the wall wart for 9 volts, but I'm really not sure. I'll have to double check. Uh, but in the meantime, let's see where the battery goes. I imagine it goes under here because they're giving me a reference to a battery there. Let me pop that cover off real quick. See, so we'll put the battery in it, and then we'll give it a give it a whirl with a couple of things. I had uh, I had a resistor here that I pulled out of the uh, night signal generator that I've been working on. That I think it was supposed to be 330 ohms and when I was doing the resistance check on the tube sockets it kept showing some of 600 and some ohms and uh, I thought I was mistaken but yeah that's sure enough that's what it's that's what it's measuring so alrighty so if you look at that it kind of let's see if I can get it under the light for you it has like a little cutoff so the battery fits right in there and I have to get the battery out of the plastic. <clears throat> so 
So, give it a little battery and a little drawing the way it goes in, the plus and the minus. Go in, go in like so. Keep reading the check to make sure I'm on camera when I do this, this kind of stuff. And then the cover would go right back on. Tighten up the screws. I think uh, the dog and the cat are playing. I'm just hoping when they run by, they don't knock the camera. Not, well, no, it sounds like the cat's not playing as much, but uh, hope they don't knock the camera over. Oh, no, I have two cats down here now. They're both done. The older one doesn't like playing with the puppy so much. The younger one does. So, now that that's all in there, let's turn it on to power and see what happens. It still has the, the shield on the cover, so it might be a little bit darker. Let's see. And I'm reading. I don't think they have a quick test for, for what you have to do. Let me just take a quick look. You know, they have the quick setup sometimes. Little uh, instruction manual, very small little booklet. I don't know if it's going to be any help to me whatsoever. Uh, it has some references in English, but for the most part, uh, yeah, I, I'm thinking maybe not. May have to look it up, uh, look it up online and find out. Because there's a whole bunch of buttons here, like a calculator. Let's just see, LCR Auto, what's that do? Alright. And then frequency, so I imagine you could test the, uh, the, the capacitors in circuit with this. But let's just, let's just throw a resistor onto it and just see what happens. And then I'm going to have to go up and find an English version of the manual. See, this is about, a, I believe it's a 5, 6, 0, 0. Yeah. Okay, it's not, there we go. So let's see. Yeah, it's a 65, 65 uh, or 6.5K. So 6, 648 is, that's close. I'm trying to think what I do with that little, the other, the other little resistor I wanted to, I want to show you. In the meantime, well, oh, there it is. And the colors on these, these resistors are really faded. You can hardly even see them. Okay, this is saying 0.547K, and it's a yellow, or I mean an orange, orange, probably brown. So it should be uh, 330 ohms. So it's almost double that, and that's really strange because, I mean, it doesn't look heated up or burned or anything, and... So, enough with that. Let's see. Let's try this capacitor. And I checked it with another meter and it seemed to be, it, it looked pretty good. But this should be uh, 20 microfarad. And it's a two, two place capacitor, so, or a dull capacitor. So both are around 20 microfarad. So let's see what happens. There you go. And it, it automatically ranged on to 21.98 uh, microfarad. It tells me right there. So that that's pretty good. And it's given me the... Uh, Let's see the frequency that it's that it's hitting it at. So if you want to do the in circuit test, is one kilohertz. And I think I'm pretty sure that I remember seeing you can adjust that. Unfortunately, that, that book's not going to be much help to me. So let's try the other side of the cap. And again, I think that's pretty good. So we'll try that. And let's see what it says. Same thing. So they're it's 20 microfarad. They're they're pretty close. They're 22. And, and like I said, I know it's old, but it's uh. The thing was probably never really used. Here's a 0.1 microfarad. 
Now this is an electrolytic. This looks like one of those uh, tubular, but we'll see. And I checked this one too, and I believe it was good. So Let's see what it says. 0.1 microfarad. So it's saying 105 nanofarad. So move the decimal over three places to the left, and it's 0.105. So again, can't complain about that right there. I unfortunately, other than that one resistor, I don't have any bad components here to test, but. I just wanted to show you what it looks like. I think, all in all, it feels like a sturdy meter. I'll bring it down so you can see it. It feels like a sturdy meter. And I'm moving it back up a little bit. Uh, let's see. It's got a lighting feature. I, I can tell what that one is. Uh, and when I dig up the, uh, the instructions for it in English, uh, either that or I'm going to have to just keep playing around with it and see what happens. So, uh, I know there's a way you, that you can zero it and, and do everything you can with it. But, uh, again, like I said, it's a, uh, it's, it's not a super expensive one, but it had pretty good ratings. And uh, I know it can handle inductance, capacitance, and resistance. Obviously, a LCR meter. And, uh, we got it on Amazon. So, that's, uh, it's really my first, uh, my first capacitance meter. I've had a couple other things I bought. I'll show you one. One was, and I built this out of, uh, I built this out of one of the kits from uh, eBay. And this works pretty good, but as you can see it goes from 0.01 to 1000 microfarad. So it, it, it doesn't cover a lot of things. And it was, it's a battery monster. It eats batteries. So I, I uh, put a USB, the 5 volt USB on it. And uh, I put it into one of these old electrical boxes. Well, new ones, I guess, the plastic one. So I had this, and I put uh, the short leads on it and everything. That works That works pretty well when you're within range. And then I also got one of these for about $12 a while back. I just was really curious to test it. And it says transistor tester. But you know what? This thing is pretty good. It can tell you just about anything you put into it. If you grab a, a diode and stick, stick a diode into it. It'll tell you what it is. So I'm trying to make the diode fit. To give you an example, I don't have one handy. Let's see. So you put it in there and then you close the little gateway on it. I'm holding it in because the leads are cut real short. Let's see if it'll pick it up. So it thinks it's a capacitor. And it just may be the fact that my hands aren't into it real good. Let me just try and grip it again. But anyhow, it's, it's pretty neat. You can put, it's got three different lead positions. So you can put, say, a transistor into it. And it'll tell you if it's an NPN, a PNP. It'll tell you whatever it is. Uh, there we go. This time it says it's a diode. And uh, there's so much current it's putting through it. And the forward voltage and just everything about it. And it even tells you that number one's the anode and number three is the cathode. So three's the uh, the bottom one. So if I move my thumb, you'll probably see the line. And there it is. If you can see the line on the the capacitor, yeah. So anyhow, so that works. And it was like I said, it was probably. I thought it would just be something kind of interesting to test. Uh, it was a you know a couple bucks that I got it, but to tell you the truth, I. Uh, I really like it and it's it's really convenient because if you're oh sorry that's my face it's really convenient because if you're uh, working on something and uh, you know just say you're going to put in a capacitor or something and you just want to double check yourself uh you just throw it in there and it gives you a reading real quick and it's it's so small and it automatically turns off and it works for capacitors resistors diodes transistors inductors just about anything you can find to put in there it works, so enough said about that. Anyhow, so that's the DRE, -E, DER E, I'm not sure even how you say it, but it's the DE5000, it's the older model, and uh, I'm looking forward to being able to try it and doing some testing with it. So, anyhow, that's back to it. Thanks.